He's back. Cam Talbot has returned to the Edmonton Oilers. Yep, I traded for him in the last... Well, not in the last episode, but in between episodes I traded for him. I traded uh, Way Markstrom and two-thirds for him. Just to help us uh, get into the playoffs, hopefully, with two goalies. So whenever Talbot needs to get in there, hopefully he can go in and get us a win. I also changed up the special teams a little bit. I noticed... Uh, or penalty, or like the penalty kill in the whole NHL is shit. Like I don't, th I think the best one was eighty three percent, which is way low for NHL standards. Like right now, so ours isn't any better. I think it's like seventy seven. We're way down there. So I noticed that uh, Larson is a big minus. So I just I have to keep him on there. But um, I just moved him down to the second pairing and moved Carlson up because every other defenseman's a plus except for Larson. So and uh, the only other thing. Uh, Pool Jarvie can stay for now, but uh, with his point production, I don't think I want to keep him much longer. And he's got really good trade value, so we could probably trade him at the end of the season when um, at the draft when we have a more clear cut decision, like what kind of pick we can get, what kind of player we can get out of it, instead of just trading him away for a random first now and we don't know what we're gonna get. It's more exciting, granted, but uh, no. I'm not Okay, so now we're going to finish off uh, year three. Uh, I'm just going to go quickly to the arena. Go to the arena. Thank you. Uh, we gotta, okay, we're going to upgrade the team store. Is that a thing I have to do? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I'm off. Upgrade, please. There you go. I did the update for NHL just the other day, and it's makes the GM mode a lot slower. This one doesn't have the update to it, applied to it, so it's running normal. But my Ottawa one, it, it's a lot laggier and it loads a lot slower, so that's bad. Uh, hopefully that doesn't continue. Where are we here? What do I want to do? Do I want to do the parking lot right now? Uh, it's only at 50, and we can upgrade it. Everything else is pretty okay right now. Yeah, I can wait on it. Not a big deal. It's just a parking lot. All right, let's go another month with the new lineup. Datsuk is killing it as a 40-year-old second-line center. He's loving it. He's just never going to retire. He is looking like he's going to get another 60-point season, maybe even more. But uh, I'm banking he is going to retire, and I also looked ahead and seen how we're going to be looking financially for next year. We're in really, really, really good shape. We have a lot of big contracts uh, coming up at the end of the year that we don't have to re-sign or we can re-sign them for substantially less money than what we signed them for because a lot of them are the free agent guys that we sign. So we can save a lot more money and we don't actually have any big contracts to sign unless Datsuk decides he wants to go for one more year for some reason. Then uh, he probably can stay on this team if I want him because he's good for probably 60 points and I'm going to keep saying probably, probably. Anyway, how are we doing there? Okay, we won two, we lost one. And if we can just keep that up for the rest of the season, we'll be fine. So if we win two here, if we can actually beat LA, that'd be fine. It's really hard. It seems the penalty kill and pow our power play was okay. We're go our goals for are really good. Our goals against eh, our goals against is getting really bad by the looks of it here. Oh god, thank god we got a win there. We can't seem to beat. LA, we have trouble with San Jose, we finally beat them there. Okay, let's string some wins together here, fellas. Let's win all these games before trade that much. Great, great, great. I'm gonna look into Cam Talbot. Uh, I don't want to, like, it, it usually helps uh, substantially, especially when you have a, a tandem like this, like uh, two goalies that are rather the same or very close to overall. Uh, turn the goalie rotations off and, like, do it manually and just run with the hot goalie. At some point, one of them's gonna get really hot, and you just run with it, and it helps. I usually have really good seasons doing that, but it's a pain in the ass having to switch goalies like every fucking two minutes. So I really don't want to do that. Uh, we're the defenseman for two weeks. Our goalie situation is also looking really good. Our, or that goalie we drafted is—he's gonna be something really good. His trade value is very high, so. I have a good goalie down there. Um, for now, we're just going to run with Murray and Talbot. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... Holy shit, did we just lose 8-1? What the 
what the fuck is that nonsense? You, oh my god, we are really struggling here. Yeah. Fan happiness is low. No doubt. But man, who the fuck let that eight goals? Oh, Better not have been TL, but better not have been. I, well, I don't know who the fuck was both of your shit right now. So, we really gotta hope that uh, goalie in the system gets good. It really looks like he is, so I'm not really too worried about it. Oh, do I want to upgrade this? It costs $800,000. I'm just going to repair it. I don't really have to do it. We have to do this one, so let's just upgrade this one so we can get a little bit more money. It's only $20,000, but it's something. I'll take it. And the rest we don't have to worry about. We're in 2019. Trade deadline is right here. Uh, we're just a few. I think we're looking okay. I don't really I don't, I want to make any trades. Like, I should trade. Pull Jarvi away. But I don't want to right now because our chemistry is pretty good. Let's just go another couple weeks and go past the trade deadline. I'm semi satisfied with what I'm running with. I think we can make the playoffs with this at least. I don't know how good we're going to do in the playoffs, but as long as we can make it, I'll be happy. And there you go. There's two wins in a row. Can we make it three? It's really hard to win back to back, so maybe we can win this game right here. The game usually allows this, it doesn't happen. Scout, you're such a fucking, you're such a guy. Oh, you're a fucking guy. Merka. Let's go three weeks there for the forwards. There you go, one nothing win. There, see? The game just it doesn't really allow the team to win back to backs. Um, keep current ticket price. Sure. We're not selling very much because we're not going to the playoffs. Probably because I'm not dealing with the budget and the marketing very much. I don't really care. <clears throat> Once you start winning cups, so I'll come to tuition. Fruition. Fruition. I don't know. Uh, okay, we lost the lease, but at least we got a point out of that. Can we, ooh, don't, okay, we got back to backs here. 36, 27, 4. Not great. Not great at all. Let's, deep, let's go into the stats really quick. We're still in second place, but it's toy. Okay, Calgary's right behind us. San Jose's not far behind us. And then LA is 10 points behind us. 11 points behind us. So they can catch us. Uh, Leon Drysdale's having a pretty nice season here. Still leading our team in points. It's starting to fall back. Like, he was playing a game. But uh, yeah, that's it's still kicking it there. So yeah, he's going to be getting another 60 point season by the looks of it. And David and Patrick are slowing down. Patrick is a big minus. Maybe I should put him down to the second line. Larson is still a big minus. He's got worse. Como's a big minus. Okay, so these are the kind of guys maybe we got to look into getting rid of or trying to give them a little bit less ice time. Definitely don't want to trade Patrick away. But um, these are obviously the issues. So because they're. Como, I think, is already on the fourth line. There's not much I can really do with him. He's not on any special teams either, so... Yeah. Oh, come on, it's cost 38 points. That's pretty dang good for a defenseman. What did get last year? Yeah, for 50 teams. They're good for almost 50, 60 points. Hopefully, we can keep that up. This guy, he's doing pretty good. Look at that. He's got uh, 34 points, 15 goals. Pretty good. 31. He's, not bad. he's got a good, pretty decent shot and good offensive lines. Cody CC, I really want him to be a good. Well, Arby's up to 27 points. I think that he was, that's a, he had a good month or something there because that's a lot more than we had before. Goalies, what are we looking at here? How many games is Talbot up to now? He's got 17. They're both rocking 2 7, so that's not good. So, goaltending in Edmonton needs to be addressed. Um, I think the best option we can really do is hope these two can get us to playoffs for the next couple of years and then wait for that Valentanko kid. Um, I'll show you him. Uh, he's playing right here, this kid. Yeah, Vuilesle Valentanko. This guy is going to be hopefully the future. I know he's got a 2.6, but hopefully when he uh, gets the NHL, that'll be like a 2. But yeah, goaltending in Edmonton is an issue that I can't really address any further because also we're past the drink that line, but I did what I could. Um, Okay, I'm gonna switch up the lines. Let's put Patrick onto the second line. Give probably I'm thinking I'm gonna put Eberly on the first line for a little bit. Right? Or shit. Oh god, it's a T ass. So I'm gonna give it to Eberly put Patrick down here. Do you like the right wing? I'll give you the right wing, my man. So with Patrick and Dad's that that should be a dirty little combo there. McDavid with dry saddle's already been good. Uh try and balance out that plus minus little hey, Ellers is up two and eight five. You know what? Let's give you a little bit more time, my brother. Because I don't think Gould Jarby is going to be staying here much longer if he's going to continue. What did he do last season? I don't think he's been doing yet. He's, well, he's doing better than he did last season, but not by much. He's probably going to get, like, maybe six or seven points more. 
not that much of an increase. So you're definitely the biggest target on the team right now, and Larson has been struggling. Okay, let's switch you over to there. Maybe that'll help you somehow. How you, how you doing? Not very good, but you're still a plus. Maybe we'll give Cece a little time now. Oh, right. He's And yeah, okay. I'm gonna run with that. Just run with that for a month. I gotta try and finish up the season. We're almost done, I think. Where are we? Yeah, we're we'll getting there. We're almost done. Yeah, we'll be able to finish up in the season, no problem. Got to play in the playoffs. Sorry, let's just go a couple weeks here. There's a lot of big games here. We got Minnesota and Vancouver. Oh god, we started out with a loss. That's not good. Ooh, back to back losses. That's bad. That's four in a row. Edmonton I was struggling. Okay, at least we, anyone could beat the Canadians by the looks of it. Gary Price. I don't know. I don't like... Uh, goalies are so risky. I really wish I just waited and got Ben Bishop, because I know Ben Bishop's solid in this game. Should have waited and just signed him in free agency instead of fucking with Murray. But it's okay instead of... Uh, like We would clearly be making playoffs right now if we had Bishop. But now we have to run with this Murray guy. And wait for Valentine to come up, but I think we just won some games there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five wins in a row, and then we finish it off with a six nothing loss to Columbus. We're up to forty one wins. Okay, it's looking good. I mean, oh, okay, we only got a few games left here. That's this is it. This is the final two weeks. So let's just go to this past this Vancouver game. We can keep this up. We'll make the playoffs. Can the Edmonton Oilers make the playoffs? Please, this is our big push. Let's go, boys. Jeez, you guys let... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Can we rede redeem yourself and be points for that sense? They're, like, right there with us. Oh, Lordy. Big game. Big game. Big win. All right, I'll take it. They got a point out of us, but I'll take it to win. We got to win this game, people. Okay, here we go. Final three games. The game locker room chemistry. A fan happiness. Just good. Uh, the chemistry is pretty good at 83. Not great, but not bad. Okay, how we look? Hey, we're in first place. Okay, we're definitely we're in the playoffs. Look at that. Yeah, San Jose is going way behind us. All right, the Edmonton Oilers definitely made the playoffs. So let's just finish off these few games, and we'll look at the stats and see how the team finished off. But yeah, we definitely made the playoffs. We're in first place. No one's going to catch us. Edmonton Oilers are making the playoffs in year three. That yeah. Oh my God, six one loss. Jeez, we are allowing a lot of goals. That's pretty. Good. There you go, 5-3 win, and can we get a win out of St. Louis at the end of the season? Get 45 wins? Yeah, there you go, 6-2 six, six, win, there you go. So Edmonton Oilers finished this year with a 45-32-5 record. That's a big bump from last year. I think that's well over 10 more wins than what we had last year. So, big improvement there for the Edmonton Oilers. And I don't, that could have been mostly because of John Carlson and... Yeah, I'm gonna. I was like, John Carlson had a lot to do with it. it really helped their defense out, because um, like Murray clearly didn't do a whole lot better. And look at this, Datsuk leading our team. Only 65 points though, but Datsuk, fan, that's fantastic for Datsuk. This guy is unbelievable. What a legend! Look at that. 22 goals, 43 assists. The guy can keep putting up 20 goals. This is the new Yager right here. The Russian. Wait, Yager is Russian. I think. Uh, well, he didn't put up 20 goals last year, but 22, he only had a 30 that year. God damn, that's exact. I love him. All right. But he is 40 years old. He's still an exact top six forward. He could, if he wants to stay, man. Like, I don't mind keeping him. He's going to keep doing this. You know, dry side, all 23 goals, 41 assists, and David only 61. No, I want, I want more out of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Now, it might be because we lack an offensive defenseman. And we're waiting for a little chagrin to get up there. He's a good offensive uh, defenseman. Uh, Pugliari only had 32 points. He didn't have any power play time, so not great, not bad. Ehlers did a lot better, so I'm thinking we keep Ehlers and we ditch this kid because he's going to have way more trade value and he's Ehlers is just performing substantially better, even though he was a big minus, but minus 11 to a minus 7 point differential. I think I would rather keep Ehlers on this one. They're both He's a two-way forward, so yeah, I don't think uh, Pooley RV has much longer here in Edmonton, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to chime in on that, I'll probably, I'm will probably i probably just going to go ahead and do it. I, I'm impatient, and I have ideas in my head anyway, so there's going to be, there's a lot of guys. Like, I'll show you some guys already. But anyway, yeah, Dadzook leads the team yet again in points. Uh, I'm not 
overly bad with it, you know, it's not, not fit. Okay, let's just look at the goalies really quick here. Yeah, all right, man, 2.69, didn't put, perform the way I wanted, and that would, yeah, not cool, not cool. The only 8 and 10, 34 wins for Murray, man. Okay, let's just look at the, this is a good way to find players that we can go after maybe next year's entire season, entire league. Oh, wow, Jake Allen, 2.17. Frickin' Jesse Codwell, there you go. Every time, I'm gonna have to freaking nerf him a little bit. He's too damn good. Dallas is just thriving with it now. Look at that, 71 games. Yeah, the door Murph. Wow, Mark on your floor, he's, yeah, he's, he's still good. He's still good. Uh, 217, probably Jesse looks like he's gonna win that. That's not here, without question. We need better, we need goaltending around, like, who the hell is this guy? Wow. Huh. Yeah, good trade. Sometimes that good, gets good, I guess. He used to get really good in other ones. Uh, yeah, Jake Allen. Maybe he gets it. It's really hard to see. He had more wins. So like, I would give it to Jake Allen. Honestly, but whatever. The game will probably give it to him because of that one point. We're the skaters, anything cool out right here? Anyone have a good season? Are we going to have anyone? Look. It's Daniel Sprong. Interesting. Holy shit, 84 points. My goodness. We usually want to trade this guy too. Wow. Ooh, maybe we uh, go after someone like that. So you can get a lot uh, out of Pittsburgh because Sprung won't have a lot of trade values. So maybe him. Sam still at 57 points. Dal Cole. Oh, I love this guy. Dal Cole. Oh, 52 points. Bjorkstrand. 24 goals. Interesting. Hey, there's our guy. Hey, he was there. He was in the top five. Not bad. Called Guglia. 37 points. 15 goals. Not bad, buddy. Okay. So, Daniel Sprong. Holy fuck. 84 points. Yeah, he must have been playing with Crawdaddy or something. Well, he could be playing with anyone on Pittsburgh and get a lot of points. But, damn, 84. It's very good trip. This guy might have, like, led the entire league. Who knows? Let's have a look here. Forwards. Oh, Jesus. Stamkos, 102 points. My lord, have mercy. There you go. Patrick Kane, 96. John was driven in. Yeah, so Stamkos and Tran are just tearing. 94 overall. Merry Christmas. Crosby, 96. Malkin, Ovech. See, I like what I did. I think I did a good job. Like, this is more accurate points for these kind of guys. Like, Stamkos. A healthy Stamkos. Fuck yeah, you can put up 100 points. You probably have a little bit more goals than that. Patrick Kane, that's what he's about doing. Jonathan Jordan could do that if he had Stamkos. Healthy. Crosby, of course, can do that. Yeah, it's looking to toes. I don't know. He can't really put that amount up anymore. Look at that Billy Ball. 51 goals. Damn. Oh, Malkin. Oh, bet you 61 goals. Holy shit. Yeah, Daniel Sprung's way down there. But anyway. Uh, yeah, he's a damn. He could be a really nice target to pick up. Daniel Sprung. I'll have to remember him. Pittsburgh Penguins. So we can get a lot out of Pittsburgh. Yeah. Belsky. Oshi. Mm. Jesus Christ, look at that, 75 points, damn. He was on the trading block too, I could have went after him, but I thought he, he, he's a little too good to be on uh, third, fourth line, you know what I'm saying? Terry Sanko, 38 goals, okay, okay. Okay, maybe there's my buddy buckets. 73 points, god damn. Pretty good, Calgary Flames. Hmm. All right, yeah, definitely um, targeting this Daniel Sprong kid. Okay, let's just look quickly at defenseman who led the lead. I'm thinking Carlson, oh yeah, Eric Carlson, 71 points. He's not putting those kind of numbers up in my Ottawa Senators GM, let me tell you that. More like 50 points, ridiculous. You can never get freaking guys to put up the numbers like they do in all the other GM modes. Not fair. Ekman Larson right behind him, 69 with Justin Fall. Would you like me, Chris Tong? Uh, <coughs> not Jeff, Justin, pardon me. Lever. Shady Butter, still 92, 33 years old, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I should hold on. Carlson is going to be in here, right? He had, like, he had points. Yeah, oh, yeah, there he is. 43. Oh, you didn't even get up to 50. Mm, not bad. But he's going to... We'll, we'll hold on to him. I don't know how long. I don't know how long to have him sign. So, we'll be here. I signed him for two years. Four years. Okay, well, he might be able to stay. That, that salary cap is high. But, yeah, okay. So, there you go. There is uh, year three. Of the Edmonton Oilers franchise mode, we made the playoffs, led by Datsuk, as usual. Who else is going to be our team? Davers? Are you kidding me? This bullshit. Okay, so in the next episode, we're going to do our second playoff run. Hopefully, it goes a lot better. And for God's sakes, hold on. Let's just simulate. Let's see who we're playing. I got to know. I just got to know. 
Here we go. Who are we gonna get? Who's it gonna be? Oh my god, the scout every time. Let's go. Let's go here. Three weeks, there you go. Go on, me brother. Hurry, me brother. Who are we going to play? Winnipeg. Oh baby, so in the next episode we play the Winnipeg Jets in round one. Get excited.